hi guys so in this video I'll be showing you how we can uh, add bones to our character in order for us to do that we have to go here we have to click the root bone Here's a, here we are we have to click this root bone over here we have to select this root bone then we click here on create we can also press the hot key uh, the end key uh, which will uh, select the which is the hotkey for the create tool uh, now we have the create tool selected uh, we have the create tool selected and uh, just hold down control and you can by holding down control you can select which uh, which a assets or which uh, images you want this uh, new bone that you create to be associated with and in this case we want uh, our new uh, bone to be associated with the right leg so when we move the bone our right leg should move so just hold down control and uh, click on the right leg now you can let go of the uh, you can let go of control and just uh, create the bone for the right leg there you go now similarly we want to create the bone for the right uh, for the left leg what we do is we we click on this root bone here and again we hold down control and uh, select the left leg now we let go of control and uh, we create the bone that we want well there you go release the mouse button and we have these two separate bones for our left leg and our right leg and uh, you can test these bones out uh, by clicking on rotate over here and just uh, moving these bones and there you go when you move these bones your images associated with these bones will rotate uh, with them now we can do this uh, we can repeat the same steps for the for the entire character again we have to select the root bone click create hold down control and now we want uh, to make the torso bone and we want the torso bone to be associated with the torso image with the image for the torso and how do we locate the uh, image for the torso in this case uh, this image is called uh, body and uh, you can see the you can see uh, when I hover over an image uh, its name will appear uh, uh, next to the root bone so yeah I just locate the image tag called body uh, and I have the control key held down and uh, I just click on this once and I let go of the control key and now I can make the uh, make my bone for the make my torso bone and yeah I want this bone to end over here so I just let go of the mouse next I want to create the bone for the head uh, so if you've been paying attention uh, when when we were creating the leg bones uh, the left leg bone and the right leg bone and when we created the torso bone we first selected the root bone well the reason we selected the root bone was because we wanted uh, both these leg bones to be children of the root bone and we also wanted this torso bone to be a child of the of the root bone but uh, now uh, when we have want to create the head bone we don't want it to uh, be a child of uh, this root bone here we want it to be the child of uh, the torso bone or the body bone so just uh, we don't have to uh, click this uh, torso bone we don't have to do that we ha actually have want to uh, click the body bone and we hold down control again and uh, we click uh, and we click this uh, yeah we hold down control and we uh, locate the head and uh, yeah just uh, click on it and now we have the head selected but uh, 
we hold down control again and we hold down shift as well and we want uh, to select these the eyes as well we want to select the eyebrows as well and uh, yeah same uh, we want to select uh, the mouth uh, all the different uh, mouth assets and the asset for the mustache as well and I am holding down uh, shift and control as I do this and we, I and I also want to uh, ho uh, select this uh, helmet and now I let go of now once I have all these selected I can let go of shift and control that I had uh, held down upon and now I can create a new bone like so now when I click the rotate button and move this head you can see that so many of our assets are moving um, with the head but I also uh, had I not held down uh, control and shift uh, and selected all of these before uh, creating my bones you would have uh, only my head would have moved uh, with the bone and these um, the eyes the eyebrows the helmet would have stayed in place and uh, yeah we don't we didn't want that we wanted the eyes the eyebrows the helmet uh, uh, to move uh, with the head bone we also wanted the mustache and the mouth to move with the uh, with the head bone but uh, I guess uh, I didn't select them uh, properly so they are not associated with the head bone right now in order for us to do that uh, we can do it manually by uh, navigating uh, yeah we can do that manually by uh, by selecting these uh, by selecting the mustache the mouth the mouth underscore angry Uh, yeah we want these to we want to select uh, the mustache and mouth underscore uh, underscore angry and we want to uh, move these down under uh, the head bone so that uh, these guys become the children of the head bone so yeah there you go now that we uh, now that we made them the children of the head bone as well when we move the head bone they move uh, with the head bone now what we want to do is we want to make uh, uh, the left arm uh, the bones for the left arm and we want uh, the bone that we create to be a child of uh, the body bone so we click the body bone and uh, we click uh, here on create and then uh, we hold down control and we uh, we can see that uh, this asset here is right underscore arm underscore upper so even though we can't really uh, see anything behind the head we know that uh, uh, the right uh, upper arm uh, this is the right upper arm so yeah we just uh, uh, we hold down control and we just click it and now we can make the bone for it and now we want to select the lower arm uh, right underscore arm underscore lower actually this should be the this should be called uh, left uh, arm lower because it's the left arm but uh, maybe we didn't uh, we weren't paying it maybe we weren't paying attention when we were uh, what do you call it uh, when we were renaming our layers in Photoshop so anyway uh, now we want to select this uh, right underscore arm underscore layer uh, we hold down control and we just click on it and uh, we create a bone for it now we want uh, to uh, now we hold on remember we are on a uh, create mode now uh, with our uh, right underscore arm underscore lower uh, bone selected uh, we hold on control again and uh, we wait sorry I don't want to select multiple images right now I want to uh, click this bone then I want to uh, hold down control 
and I want to click this open arm open hand and then I want to hold down shift and then I want to click this closed hand and then I let go of uh, shift and control and I want to make a new bone like so so now we can see our new bone is created and here is the new bone that was created and uh, we have the left hand closed and the left hand open uh, both our children of uh, this new bone that was created so when we uh, when we rotate this bone both these uh, hands rotate with it now obviously we do not want uh, the left hand closed and the left hand open to be visible simultaneously right uh, we we want uh, to be able to toggle uh, we basically we just want uh, one of these hands to be visible at a time uh, and the other to be uh, invisible wow. so how do we solve that well uh, it's pretty simple you go here left hand closed uh, open it and then you uh, click uh, left hand open and then you open it and you see that uh, inside you have these two image files what you basically want to do is you want to drag this uh, left hand open uh, image you want to click it and you want to drag it in the, uh, you want to drag it over here like so so now uh, yeah so now you can uh, just toggle these on and off and uh, only one of the assets will be visible at a time right and now this slot over here the this slot over here is because uh, we uh, move the image uh, from the slot into the slot above it now the slot is empty we can just uh, click on this slot here left underscore hand underscore open and just go here and uh, yeah we can just delete it because it has nothing inside of it are you sure you want to delete this slot yes we are sure we want to delete this slot because there is nothing inside of it anymore so yeah you can click ok and uh, yeah now we can toggle uh, sorry we can toggle this hand uh, on and off or rather we can toggle between its closed state and its open state